In this video, we'll be looking at the Nudgen cycle. Uh, so we'll be talking about why we need to study it and uh, what are some of the key processes that are involved. And we're going to look at uh, and see how these processes actually go into a cycle. Thinking about in a carbon cycle, we say that carbon is being transferred from one thing to another because carbon makes up uh, pretty much all the organic uh, material. And nitrogen is also important because it makes up the amine group, which is part of an amino acid. And as you would know, amino acids will then go off to build proteins. So therefore, uh, we also say that nitrogen is transferred from one thing to another, and we'll look at how that is cycled in the uh, ecosystem. Before we go on to talk about the actual cycle, we need to be clear on what are the four key processes that are involved. So we're going to start with the first one, nitrification. In nitrification, uh, ammonium ions, which is NH4+, plus, is uh, turned into nitrite, which is NO2-. Minus. And then later on, nitrite can then also be uh, converted into nitrate, which is NO3-. Minus. And both of these reactions are oxidation reactions. Uh, and it's quite easy to understand that if you look at their chemical formula. As you can see, they're gaining an oxygen here and then another one there. So they're both oxidation reactions. In the nitrogen cycle, apart from knowing what actually happens, you also need to memorize the names of the bacteria involved in each of these stages. Uh, there's not a lot of understanding, shall we say, in this particular case, but it's just a matter of memorization. So the bacteria that converts ammonium to nitrite is called nitrosomonas, and the bacteria that uh, converts nitrite to nitrate is called nitrobacter. Keeping in mind that these names are Latin names of the bacteria, so we need to make sure we underline them when you're writing it in an exam or making sure you type it in italics if you're writing on a computer. The other process is called ammonification. Now ammonification is actually the opposite of nitrification where we have nitrite or nitrate converted into ammonium. And actually ammonium can then be converted into ammonia, which is the actual molecule or chemical of it, if needed. And this particular reaction is done by decomposers, for example, uh, the other types of bacteria. But So one way to memorize it is that nitrification is making nitri or nitrate, so that's why it turns from ammonium to these two forms. Ammonification is making ammonium, and, the, and these two reactions are the reverse in some sense. Another reaction is called denitrification. And in this case, if we link it to nitrification, which is making nitrite or nitrate, denitrification is to remove that oxygen uh, from the nitrate or nitrate. In this reaction, nitrate gets converted into nitrogen gas, which is N2. So it's removing the oxygen, denitrification. This particular reaction uh, is anaerobic, meaning that it can only occur if there is no oxygen or very low levels of oxygen. And it is done by denitrifying bacteria such as Pseudomonas. Again, making sure you need to know the name Pseudomonas. Then finally, we have a reaction called nitrogen fixation. In this reaction, nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas uh, in the atmosphere will react together to make ammonium. And we will balance the equation, hence the 3 and the 2. So one nitrogen molecule will react with three hydrogen molecules to make two ammonia molecules. And this reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme called nitrogenase, and it is found in bacteria such as Azotobacter and Rhizobium. And these are the four chemical reactions involved in the nitrogen cycle. Before we go into the actual detail of the cycle, uh, let's have a very quick think about uh, where these products are actually going to go. So nitrate ions are a form of nitrogen that can easily be taken up by the plants through the roots. In a nutshell, this one goes to the uh, plants. That when they take that up, they can actually use it to make amine groups for making proteins. In ammonification, we make ammonium ions, and it's also one form the plant can be absorbed. Nitrogen here, however, will then go off to the atmosphere, and ammonium here, same thing as the product in ammonification, it can be absorbed by the plant to make amino acids. So keeping these four reactions in mind, we can then go off uh, to actually look at the nitrogen cycle and see how they all link up together.